Welcome guys to another episode of Ben's Carnage. In today's episode we're playing Formula 1 2016. So let's go and get carnaged. Come across the line. We do a 139.5, which is 1.3 seconds slower than Lewis Hamilton. So this is going to be a very, very hard race. We qualified in fifth behind Feltri Bottas, our championship rival. So let's go and get to the race, boys. The lights are about to go out on the Grand Prix. We go, go, go. Our start isn't bad as we're coming alongside Bottas, but he's not going to give us any space. We're not going to be able to get past him into turn one. We go very cautious and... Someone's hit us. Felipe Massa's hit us and this caused an absolute massive collision. So let's have a look at that. So we fly into turn one. Massa comes down our inside. And maybe that's my fault. Maybe I didn't give him enough space. Comment below what you thought. Let's have a look at Massa on board camera. So he's coming down the inside and no indeed that was probably my fault so sorry about that Massa and look at that absolute train he's left behind him so as we come across the line for the end of lap three a quick race update our pace is not very good in this race at all we're not really catching Bottas and Perez is gaining on us so it could be a very damaged limitation for our championship piss off so as we come across the line we'll be pitting at the end of this lap as you can see I've gained quite a bit on Bottas my pace has picked up significantly so I'm hoping I can get that undercut as we indeed come into the pits at the end of the lap there's a car ahead of us in the pits which is Lewis Hamilton so Bottas hasn't got for, gone for the pits, so hopefully we can get the undercut and get a very clean lap. Hopefully we rejoin in some clean air, so I can set the best lap time possible. As we get stuck behind some traffic, I don't know, but it's like every episode I get stuck by Felipe Nazar at a pit after I come out of the pits. But I need to be very careful with these three because anything could happen. Oh, I'm going to get Jensen Button here, hopefully. Well. Go down the inside. He gets a better traction. In a McLaren Honda. Unbelievable scenes. Hopefully I can get him now. In this long, quick corner. Yeah, Jensen Button's been dismissed. And that's where Meldonado are going to hold me so up so much. Hopefully they both come into the pits. So some cars are in the pits. It gives us DRS. So where are we going to come back out into we're in 6th at the moment with Daniel Kiavet who I believe hasn't pitted yet in 5th Kavia comes into the pits so we're back into 5th position with Bottas 5 seconds up the road so 
Getting held up by Nazar and Jensen Button really did not help my calls for the undercut. So we come across the line for the end of lap 10. Our pace is actually good on the prime tyres. We're catching Bottas at a great speed and knots. Hopefully we can get him before the race is finished. So we're getting closer boys. 3.7 seconds. Two laps to go. Because we've been pushing like hell, we've worn out our tyres. And look, Valtteri Bottas has pulled out a big lead to us. So we get onto the last lap. We're indeed going to finish in fourth position if we don't make any mistakes now. So with that three time, three second time penalty, we will still finish in front of Daniel Ricciardo, it seems. So Nico Rosberg wins the Grand Prix, so he's going to pull out. Oh well, no he isn't, I think he's winning the World Championship. Oh no, Lewis Hamilton's winning the World Championship. Anyway, we finish in fifth. We've lost out on points to Bottas and Vettel, so it's going to be very hard to catch them too in the championship standings. So Nico Rosberg indeed regains the lead of the title. He's two points ahead. We stay ahead of Bottas by ten points, but we fall behind, further behind our teammate in the standings. So yeah, guys, if you like that episode, smash that like button. Let's see if we can get at least three likes for the episode. Have a good day, guys. Remember, let's get carnaged.